Fortunately or unfortunately, summer is quickly coming to an end soon. August always gets busy because kids go back to school or college, online or offline, so you must be ready for this event. That's a great opportunity to engage with your audience and boost your sales. And let's quickly bust a myth. You don't have to sell school supplies to promote your back-to-school campaigns. You can sell literally anything from clothing to electronics, supplements, and so much more. Let's look at six helpful tips to make sure you succeed. Number one, start prepping early. It's no coincidence that I'm telling you this in the middle of summer. It's best to start your back to school campaign early because the school shopping season is at its peak in July and August. I strongly recommend falling into this gap to make sure your campaign is successful and increase conversion. You can start by reminding your audience that school time is starting soon. You can do that with a form using one of our theme templates and maybe offer a discount for shopping a specific category in your store. You can also announce a sale by sending a themed campaign. For that, you can use one of the themed templates from the library. You can create a whole sequence of promo back-to-school emails and send them before the holiday. And when the school year starts, send a simple back-to-school email with a checklist to let customers check whether they've got everything they need. Number two, a catchy school-themed subject line. A subject line is the first content-wise thing your recipient sees, and it makes it crucial to be catchy. Your open rate depends on it, and using fun school subject lines or pre-headers for your school email campaigns can definitely help that. Make sure to save these top five great performing back-to-school subject lines. Back to school, come join the fun. Oh dear, pop-up super sale, back-to-school shopping. $5 back to school deal. Back to school never looked so good. Specials all week. 30% off back to school sale. As you can see, there are a lot of emojis here. That's because the target is the younger generation, aiming for younger parents or the students themselves. Or it could be that it's a pretty light, optimistic occasion in itself, so the emojis fit the mood. Let me show you 10 more for your inspiration. A sale so big you'll wish you had homework. Hold the door, check out this back to school sale. It's that time of the year again. Prep for school, new year, new look. New style to rule the school. Still short on school supplies? A special back to school gift for you. Saved by the bell, get huge back to school deals today. Huge back to school betting sale. Today only, back to school must haves. Now 20% off. Use your imagination when creating a subject line for your back to school season email. However, try to keep it within 24 to 50 characters long as subject lines are cut by email clients and users may not see it fully. That's why you should better use short subject lines and add some pre-headers to them. Number 3. Do your trends research There's no secret that back-to-school promo is mostly oriented towards the younger generation. Stationery, gadgets, smartphones, and new clothes are in great need, so you definitely need to know what's trending among youngsters. If you're producing or selling something specific like notebooks, diaries, lunch boxes, or clothes, make sure to do your research and find out what's popping. Could be Stranger Things or Barbie's back glowing? Worried parents definitely try to follow those trends to make their kids happy. So help them out with your email campaign. But remember, the back-to-school period is not only about school children. College students, office workers, we should think about them too. This event works for everyone because we are switching from the summer vacations to a hard-working season. And here's your opportunity to promote relevant stationery, gadgets, clothes, and so on. Not only school uniforms. Number four. Take care of the email design. No need for popping overloaded visuals in a dozen colors. Nowadays, design is about simplicity and being on brand. Using a themed back-to-school visual or photo is a great idea, but try to stay simple. You can use event-related colors as well to drag more attention. I'd say orange symbolizes the full season, dark green reminds you of a blackboard, and so on. Use the game of words. Make your CTA button visible. Always add a concise CTA to your emails. One in the beginning and one in the end if you have a longer email. Number five, share your ideas with your subscribers. This is a great way to engage. Tell your subscribers what they should buy. Send them a guide and make their shopping easier. It could be a guide for great gift ideas to your teacher or back to school checklist. By doing this, you show your expertise in a given theme and increase customers' loyalty. 
Remember to focus on the usefulness of the information you share, but not on your profit. And number six, use other promotional channels and networks. Email marketing is great, but remember other channels and networks. They have as much potential and conversion. Use an SMS channel, push notifications, and your social media accounts if you have them. It can be a giveaway on Instagram or targeted ads on Facebook or a simple sale campaign via SMS. And it's a good idea to collaborate with influencers or bloggers. Remember, kids, teenagers, and adults do look up to them. And these are the tips. I am sure you're going to nail your back-to-school campaign. Remember to engage with your subscribers. Promote not only sales, but emotions your prospects are about to get. Have a happy marketing!